Okay, well, this is my first tutorial. I'm doing this just to help you. Um, this is Lego Digital Design. Okay, first, go to the Lego website and download LDD. That's Lego Digital Designer. And then, once you've downloaded it, you will... Oh, wait, one minute. That's a bit of a problem. Anyway, go off the website once you've downloaded it, set it up, and then click on the icon. I'll run it instantly from the setup. Okay. Now, for, uh, here, it does take a bit to load, but it's starting up, you see? All of this. By the way, this is on hype cam, so it's going to be a bit different. So it may have been very quick for you, but not for me. Okay, anyway, once you've started up, go on go on and you can see there are lots of test models Incl and it's very nice here <laughs> but there are more mods for all of this as you can see there's all these models there's rebuild here or you could just open your own file there's Lego Factory Mindstorms and Lego Creator for you to use, but right now let's stick with free build. Okay, as you can see, this is kind of the layout, it's all of it, and yes, this is going to be very fun. Okay, opening up. Okay, here you are going to you can open the brick files and have a look down see there's all the bricks and everything it's just fun okay well all the way down this there's so many bricks one-sided bricks double-sided bricks everything but right now I'm going to stick with the traditional red brick and here you can just keep on building and putting on and on and on just take a while to keep it posing well, meanwhile, while I do this, I'll just say that that you can have an account on the website and then you can add on lots of bits like and put it on and make it buyable, even design your own box. And it's very fun actually. I tried it once but it didn't quite work, but it still works very nice. So, once you're... D I'll just keep on talking. Um, add each bit on again and again, and you can s make a wall, and it's just very, very, very fun. <laughs> okay, well, hmm. add on bricks. As you can see, I've made a ruined wall, and it, using the arrow keys, you can turn it. You can make it go upside down and everywhere and you can just do anything with it so you can put it sideways the other way around upside down anywhere so it just makes it great so as you can see I'm actually using the clone tool which is in the small tool tab here you can just keep on cloning it and cloning it. Now I'm going to use a paint tool. This actually lets you change the colour of the brick because it will have different versions of it. So as you can see I'm colouring it all different colours and it, oh man it's just cool. Anyway, um yeah. You can make the walls look cool and funky and you can make your own Lego version of something like a Half-Life 2 map or a um, Counter-Strike Source map, I don't know, you can do anything. Anyway now, if you want to make a minifigure, go down all the way to this little icon and go down and you can see all sorts, but begin with the legs. I'm going to make one of my favourite models here and, okay. Put the pieces on each other as you're able to do. Put on the heads. Uh, you can choose any head. And now, 
Don't forget to put on her or you'll or the minifigure will look bold and evil. I'll cover more in my next one and you can turn yourself the camera around using the small tab right down there and as you can see it actually is very good. See I'm moving myself around if you do it right, you can actually move yourself onto a different rick and view around that. And using the right mouse button, you can actually drag yourself around stuff and it's just fun. So I'm nearly done here. Um, I'll carry this on later. I'll see you and I hope you have lots of fun. Bye!